I'd like to show you some insides of the smallest federated wiki. I think I've shown you before that we can have a number of uh, pages up on a screen and that uh, a page consists of a series of uh, paragraph or paragraph-like items including images and data. Uh, it also uh, includes uh, this, this part at the bottom which we call the journal. So we have the story, the paragraphs, and the journal is the series of edits that created the paragraph. Now anytime we do any editing, so I edit that, and when I'm done, I have a new command here. See, it's hit E, E for edit, and that shows me what paragraph was edited. Now let's look at this in the JSON. Every page has JSON, and we can examine that. So here's the, uh, the page. It consists of a title, a story, which is a sequence of paragraphs. Here's a paragraph, YND WebCamp paragraph. The text is rather than posting content and so forth. As we scroll down here, we get to the journal. Here's where uh, a series of move commands have happened. Each move consists of uh, uh, the ID of the paragraph that was moved and the uh, final order of paragraphs after that move took place. The, uh, uh, here's some more complicated, here's an ad where uh, some new text was added and uh, what, uh, 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 what paragraph it appeared after. So this is uh, uh, the, uh, the, the content, the, these, command, these objects are basically command objects uh, like you might use in an editor for undo or redo. Uh, but we're using them to communicate between the client-side software and the server-side software. Uh, an AJAX re uh, request is sent to the server with every editing operation. And the editing is also done on the client side. Uh, and let, me, let me just kind of show you what that looks like. Uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is what the code's looking like right now. Uh, Notice, well, we start here. This is in uh, a coffee script uh, built on top of uh, a jQuery. Uh, here's a, a function that uh, uh, converts our wiki text to, uh, to HTML. You can see that it's uh, pretty simple, uh, just a couple lines here, and this recognizes the two kinds of uh, uh, links. Uh, I'm sure that'll grow over time, but hopefully not too much. Uh, here's, here's something interesting. This is where we define the plugins. This is all the different types of paragraph, including type paragraph. Uh, for each plugin, we have an emit and a build. Emit creates the DOM object, uh, which can be done client side or could be done server side. If it's done on the server side already, then all we have to do is bind the uh, uh, jQuery actions to it and that's the second function. So emit will create DOM objects, bind will hook it up with uh, uh, jQuery to be uh, interactive. Uh, image doesn't do much right now so it uh, has an emit and uh, the bind <laughs> doesn't, uh, doesn't have anything to do there. Uh, some of this is, uh, well here's an interesting one called the factory. What this is, is this is a, a drop zone. So if we want to add a new paragraph type and we don't know what it is, we add a factory. And then as you start doing things with the factory, it will become uh, a new kind of object. So let's look and see what that looks like on the screen. Uh, here's, uh, here, here it says uh, double click to edit or uh, drag and drop to insert. Now, uh, Normally, in an application, the application itself provides a, a drop zone for, uh, for adding. But in this case, uh, it's a, a just another data type in the wiki. And that lets us talk about where we're going to put information before we actually put any in there. In fact, we could have more than one of those. We can even, just like everything else, we can move that to another page and say, when we do get to creating this paragraph, this is where we want to put it.